Hi, I'm Gladys, and today we are assembling the Tribeca cot. Make sure you have all the pieces and hardware with you, and if anything is missing, please call Consumer Care. One way to know you're using the current hardware is to take the instructions and use the drawings as a guide. Just like that. The first step is to attach the posts to the end of the cot. We're going to use four 32 millimeter pins, six 45 millimeter bolts, an Allen wrench, and a hex wrench. Use the short part of the Allen wrench to really tighten the bolt. Do the same on the other side. Now we're going to attach the side of the cot to the ends of the cot. We'll need four metal pins and six 45 millimeter bolts. Remember, use the labels as a guidance. They should be facing inside. Always use the short part of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. To prepare your mattress support, you will need four support brackets, eight 22 millimeter bolts, eight joint nuts, hex wrench, and an Allen wrench. The joint nut goes underneath the bracket support. Use your Allen wrench to help you support the joint nut. And we're done. Now we're going to attach the mattress support. One thing you should know is that if the cot is for a newborn, you should attach the mattress support on the highest level and then go downwards once the child grows. If you're assembling the cot by yourself, it would be helpful if you take the frame and turn it on its side. Just like that. Now you're going to attach the mattress support, and for that you're going to need four 18 millimeter bolts. Use the shirt part of the Allen wrench to really tighten the bolt. Remember, since we're assembling the mattress support with the frame on its side, you have to hold the mattress support so the bolt can align with the hole.
like that. And we're done. Finally, we will attach the side of the cot. And for this, we're gonna need four metal pins and six 45 millimeter bolts. And you're done. And for the final part, we are going to attach the base of the cot. First, we're going to do the bottom part. We're going to need one pin and one 50 millimeter bolt. And that's it. Congratulations, you just finished assembling your Tribeca cot. Now you're going to convert your Tribeca cot into a day bed. First, we're going to detach the side of the cot. Don't forget to also remove the pins. Remember for this part, your mattress support should be on the lowest position because now your child is older. For the conversion of the cot, you will need the conversion rail, two 50 millimeter bolts, two plastic clamps, and two metal pins. First, we will attach the conversion rail using one pin on each end. And you're done. If you want to turn your day bed into a toddler bed, the toddler guardrail is available for purchase.